Welcome to another episode of Turbo's Hot Seat, where I turn up the heat on SFA identities. The filth wizard challenged this man back in 2020. The man I have in the hot seat has been described as corrupt, dirty, accused of misusing league funds, had hundreds of illegitimate children, and allowed the committee to get off the chain. It took a while, but this once former admin has finally stepped up and strapped in. Welcome from the Swamp Rats Ant Bear. How are you? Not guilty, Your Honour. <laughs> you just keep claiming that, but we'll see if we can sort that out. I'm going all right. Now, you know the drill. I ask the questions and you answer. If I don't like the response, the heat gets turned up. Are you ready? I'm uh, ready as I'll ever be. We'll start off with an easy one. What season and which team did you join at the start of your SFA career? Oh, I thought this was quite well known. I've always – I joined the Swamp Rats back at uh, the end of season 17, so I debuted in season 18. Um, but I wasn't really very active the first couple of years. I, I jumped in game day and posted a couple of go team posts and – that was about it for me. But uh, come season 20, I've, since then, I've been fairly active. So what's been your favourite season so far and why? Uh, more a period. The period between, say, seasons 20 and 26, I think, a three-year period there. The, um, the Swamp Rats diversified and... and got all these new players in and became one of the power clubs of the SFA and that, that period there and being a part of building that um, has been the highlight, I think. You stated you'll miss me as admin when S32 starts and you're still waiting for the S31 award ceremonies. So do you think yes, Natural but... Dumbass is going to miss it or do you actually think you're accurate? <laughs> uh, time's going to tell, isn't it, Ac He's been pretty good so far. He's hit all the markers. He's, Is he going to hit the target or not? The trade period, he's put up um, um, a Hall of Fame and all, all, of, all the markers that you go through throughout the season as an admin, but uh, the hard work is yet to come, uh, MD. <laughs> so, Josh Wooden Spoons, Porn Melt and subsequent Perma Ban. Mm. Do you feel responsible in any way for not stepping in and controlling the situation better? <laughs> uh, look, I was chatting to him that whole night. I mean, he's in, he was in the uh, simming group. So, um, and, and I was PMing him all night. And as soon as he posted that, I said, look, are you trying to get banned? And he said, yes, I am. And the next thing we know, he's saying goodbye to the simming group and, uh, and he's gone <laughs> and I'm looking for a new simmer. <laughs> and what do you think about the fact that he's been brought on, been brought back? Look, that's a moderation thing, and that's out of my lane. Um, oh, I don't have the lane. Seriously, the, well, the penalty's been given, and, 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 and then he's now brought back. What does that tell us all? Come on. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, I've never been a moderator, so I don't know what um, what their specifications are, what, what, they, what they're asked to do. Um, to me, you know, I think everyone makes mistakes once in life, and you can be forgiven for that if you keep going on and on and on, then a perma ban is, is called for. I, I think Josh has been a good enough contributor uh, in his time, both in the SFA and in big footy generally, that he deserves a second chance and I'll be welcoming him back. I don't I don't disagree that Josh wouldn't spend and when he got perma ban, I actually thought that was out of case for who the guy was. But surely though, what's the fuck what's the point of having a perma ban if it's not a perma ban? Why don't we just have a ban <laughs> And when we hit a perma ban, it means you ain't coming back, buddy. Yes, I wonder what's going to happen to the permafrost with all the scope of warming. Yeah, exactly right. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, no, look, per perma, yeah. Yeah, I know. Right, eh? Wayne's World 19 says, you have a bromance with Josh Wooden Spoon. Me? Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't say I did. <laughs> I can't say I did. When... Um, yeah, who was it who was admin? I reckon it was Cloud who was admin, and he brought in the uh, the uh, the minor punishments for captains who who uh, messed up. And 
uh, you know, you, you could get them to do favours and everything for you. I, I think I jumped on Josh pretty hard that season because I was, uh, I was captain. That would have been 24, I reckon, season 24. And I reckon I jumped on Josh pretty hard when he made a couple of errors that year. But, uh, yeah, generally I've got a pretty good relationship with Josh, as I do with most of the posters in the SFA. Well, there you go. You just did a big fucking furphy there. So, all right. So we'll just accept the fact you've, you've got a bromance. Now, you've stated, this is you stating this, truth is the S29 Wanders were the dullest, most inspiring, selfish flogs to ever act as an LG. It's no wonder there was a mass exodus in the end of the season. So is this your sour grapes against the side you joined in S27 and saw your career nose drive, or is it Clark M's fault? <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's Clark M's fault. Um, uh, there were a couple of other people in that LG who had a... Had a well, name names, because I just pulled out Clarky's uh, name, so throw your names out. Well, it was... I, I don't really know. I wasn't in the LG. So ah, I fucking care, like, Bear. Don't I, go I, soft I, on me, buddy. I think it was UT Tigers. I think it was um, Bono. UT Tigers? Yeah. Bono? Yeah. Uh, and who else then? <laughs> you need to put more well, in than well, that. I really don't know. But uh, anyway, oh. it worked out the way it worked out. And that's why, you, why? No, 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 no. You, you're pulling away from this here. Now, I'm going Clarky because I just want to go Clark in. He, 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 he needs to own it. But you're saying there's more than that in the LG, so name names. And you two, Tiger, seriously, he's never been a leader. So who else was there? Who was in the LG? I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh. I reckon um, Sweet D might have been in there. I, I have no idea who was Yeah, in Sweet D, there. throw that prick under the bus. Um, UG Tigers, who was in there? Ding was in there. Oh, Ding? Jesus, all right. Right, oh, now you're naming names. Not... <laughs> yeah, he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, now you're in the ruck at the moment, right? Which I love. Uh, yes, I am. Which is good because you're you're a big body bastard. Which is one of the things I have a problem is two forty five kilos. I'm often coming up pipsqueak rucks, but you actually have a bit of size now. Do you concede that you need to lift your game if you want to out ruck me after our last meeting? Well, I. Would <laughs> last time I looked, I wasn't in the top ten rucks in the comp, and there's only twelve teams. So <laughs> yeah, we're just so, talking about uh, our battle, buddy. Probably struggling a little bit, yeah. Yeah, well, you're low to the ground. Your trouble is you've got a great big frame and a huge chest and a big snout, but your legs are little, buddy. Your little legs. <laughs> You'd be better off as a ruck raver, I reckon. Uh, yeah, I reckon so too. We should talk to Phil Wark about that. Yeah. Hey, now, I, I could use plenty of Phil Wright jokes here, but... <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> so, who, when you were the admin, who were the biggest SFA pains in the ass while you were admin? Name and shame uh, now. Uh, the entire committee, I suppose. Well, name names, though. Let's get them out there. Who were the people that every time you got a PM or someone came back to you just went, oh, fuck me, here they go again. And you know it's straight off your head. An Angatang, absolutely, yeah. Let's throw Mang under a bus. Yeah. Let's let's throw Tiff under a bus. Um. <laughs> so you you starting the name boys clubs? Is it all the boys club? No, are they? Yeah, they're all BC. So far, yeah. you're just naming BC. <laughs> um. <laughs> Who else was in there? Filth was in there. He was in there from... BC you know, again? See, yeah, you're, you're naming the boys' the club. Day. All the people that were behind your authority that were undermining you, fucking stabbing you in the back. <laughs> this is where you got to get it out now. Well, okay, I didn't say that. No, I am. Just <laughs> fucking <laughs> do it! <laughs> no, um... <laughs> Really, I had a pretty good relationship. With oh. the committee. We, we had disagreements, but life is like that. Yeah, hey, Bear, well, you, were never, you were never shy in giving a slap down when someone fucking stood out of line and did the wrong thing. Don't go soft cocking on me now. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a situation where someone did the wrong thing. I, I can't really. The, the committee there was pretty responsible. We had disagreements. 
Um, but we talked to it all. Oh, God. <laughs> really good comedian. Oh, mate, you need to give this up. Righto. As admin, what decisions did you make that you regret now? Oh, I don't regret decisions. If I make a decision, I make a considered decision. It might be wrong, but it's my decision. I'll own it. That's uh, a pretty good idea for an admin, I suppose, because you need to. Yeah. So let's keep moving then. How are Adelaide coming back, for or against? Um, you no, know, I'm for it. I'm for oh, it. Oh, you hesitated too long to be for it. You actually swipe it. Oh, so you're not for it then? Well, no. Ah, there you go. No, you're not. I am for it for the same reason that that I'm for Josh Wooden Spoon coming back. I, I believe everyone gets another chance. And and Harrow. Um, well, you're not for the same reason. You like Josh Wooden Spoon. You don't like Harrow Lad. So why are you saying it's the same reason? Because it is the same reason. They they deserve a second chance. Oh, come on! Didn't Harrow Lad build burn his bridges? He burned a lot of bridges, yeah. Absolutely. It's different. Then, Josh Wooden Spoon was desperate to get out of the bombers because, you know, who wouldn't be? And he posted some really subtle, nice forms of males on mail and stuff, which is, you know, I think it's a beautiful art form. But Harold had a totally different story. He fucking was venomous. Yeah. Poison. Uh, he, took his, he took his attack to the... Main admin's a big footy, I think, and uh, absolutely he bit off far more than he could chew. So why say it's the same? You know better than that. I'm not no, even no, the admin, no, no, and no, I know no, that. Our lad has been back in other areas of big footy for quite a while, um, so I, I don't see the point in banning someone from the SFA when they're, you know, still posting in other areas of big footy. So another perma ban we just throw out the window. Another pair of band just thrown out the window, hey. Fuck. right Now, this is about you now. On the West Coast and Port Adelaide thread, because obviously you being a fucking Port supporter, you, awesome, you stated, and Luke Shuey is a cucking dunt. Well, he is. But isn't that getting around the swear filter? Because I got punished for doing that once. Isn't, and I think you punished me for it. So isn't that getting around the swear filter? Oh, possibly. Oh. Possibly. Possibly I'm just making up words, you know. Don't tell me you're one of these guys that, you know, enforce the laws but don't do it yourself. I don't enforce any laws. Right. Now, you're not admin. So has your engagement in match reads changed? Now you're not the admin. You're just the player. It has. It's increased from the two years that I was in. Uh, from the well, year and a half, three seasons that I was in admin. Mm -hmm. um, but it's lower than what it was before it was admin. So it's, it's getting back up there. Um, you know, my circumstances have changed quite a bit over the last two years personally. And, and so therefore I can't commit as much time as I used to to, to big footy in general and SFA in particular. If I know that people... Uh, uh, bantering with you differently now you're not the admin? Yeah, definitely. Do you have less people suck holing you? Uh, no. <laughs> no one's ever suck holed me. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about SFA now? Yeah, I forgot. I'm, 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 <laughs> we've got to get out of the real life stuff. I don't be doing that. All right, now, this is an easy question. Who do you think has the best strippers, the crazy horse or kittens? A oh, crazy horse. Ah, oh, when's the last time you were in kittens? <laughs> it would be uh, it would be decades. Well, there you go. Well, actually, last time I was a crazy horse, they had uh, he Helen Dominica, whatever she was, the fucking idiot that ran on the grand final, Carlton Richmond. They okay. actually had, she had they had her as the leading light. Anyway. <laughs> We had a Bucks night there about 10 years ago, but anyway. Ah, nice work. <laughs> now, how come you never visited me while I was in Banhammer Prison? <laughs> I didn't know you were in Banhammer Prison. <laughs> 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 
every season for the last five Sammy. seasons I've been to Bear Lambert Prison. How could you, you not know? For these questions too, mate. Yeah, right. Eh? The club expansions, season 29, was a big event under your administration. Lots of emotion, PM leaks, and teammates against teammates. What is your opinion at the end of all that? Should have the expansion gone ahead? Uh, I am on the record as being a pro expansion admin, and, and that was part of my platform when I was elected as admin. And and I thought that they were two very good bids that were put forth. And in the end, it came down to one vote in committee. If one vote had swung the other way, it would have uh, it would have gone through. Didn't uh, one of the clubs not vote? Yes, um, certain club that I may have been involved with. <laughs> Warriors? <Yeah. laughs> um, they uh, abstained, apparently, or, you know, forgot. That's weak. They're, and that's weak as piss, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree, though? You, you, you have an opinion. Yeah, well, you, we had troubles with the Furies as well, like, in the sense that what we ended up voting, we had members in our club weren't happy with that vote, but that was because they weren't happy with it. But we, as a club, voted with the majority. So, here is a democracy. No, but we do listen to the group, <laughs> and we end up going, okay, we ten for, eleven against. We vote against. Yeah. So, so, so your own club didn't vote. The, no. No, that, that was the uh, one club that didn't vote. I think that's fairly well known that the Wonders didn't vote. Did I just call them the Wonders? <laughs> yeah, which is cool. <laughs> I'm sounding like Milky now. So what do you think about that? Well, I, you know, when I was in committee, there was a lot of votes on various things, on punishments, on appeals and whatever, and, and it was fairly common for every club not to vote. So for some clubs to miss the deadline, not place a vote or abstain or whatever. So getting 11 votes out of 12 actually isn't too bad when you're in committee, you know. So as, as you're not committee, you're admin. As admin thinking I'm, I'm pro expansion and, you know, the, the expansion bids were solid, I'm really impressed. So as admin, you would support that. Didn't it piss you off that the committee as a whole didn't follow that lead? I can... <laughs> I can honestly say that no. I, I can honestly say that we went through the process very thoroughly and uh, the vote fell against it. And as I say, it was a very tight vote, but the vote went against it and I'm satisfied with that. I, I didn't organise any of the teams. I didn't have any involvement in either of the uh, the two bids that came forth. So um, I had no investment actually in doing it i would have liked to have seen it happen and you know even today i'd love to be playing the vampires this week so but why didn't you as admin enforce your will you could have manipulated that situation i mean you've done it before with all sfa selection and shit so why didn't you go for this one <laughs> <laughs> no I, in every situation in committee i've always gone with the majority ah but that's not your role well, it is. It is actually the role of the admin as set out in the rules. Isn't your yeah, role as admin to oversee the... Yeah, but you know yourself, the people in the committee are fucking idiots. They're all self-serving, looking after their teams, all trying to one-upmanship. Your job is to be able to step away from that and see what's best for the SFA, because all the committee members are interested in fucking net feathering their own nest. You know that. Yeah, no, that's not what I saw when I was in committee. I, I saw a group of people that were interested in doing the best thing by their clubs and by the league. Oh, I don't want to hear that reality. Fucking Jesus, don't dispel that whole thing. Okay, now. All right. There, there were maybe <laughs> one or two occasions in committee where I thought that, um, you know, representatives of their clubs were being self-serving. Are you talking about Wayne's World 19? Uh, no, Ned. Ned's actually been one of the better committee members. No, I said Wayne's World nineteen. Don't Yeah, I said Wayne's World nineteen. Was he self-serving? No. No. Who no, was the self-serving no, no. committee members then? <laughs> no, I'm not going to name them. Well, just tell us the clubs then, and we'll guess. <laughs> Why is it that, like that would this? Be the same as naming them. 
No, it wouldn't be. It's like a guessing competition. <laughs> There's only one to many member per club. Although there used to be two, apparently, according to Phil. Yeah. Never, I've never heard of that. I don't know how that would work. All right. Well, give us a rhyme then that sounds like the club, and we'll see if we can guess that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let, let's just move on from this. <laughs> oh, no. Best place you've eaten chili crab? Best place? Ooh. Uh, definitely Singapore. There was a restaurant at a hotel on Sentosa Island. Oh, it's in Singapore. <laughs> they say that, I think it might have been you, said that crab wasn't uh, wasn't particularly good. It was the chili that the crab was shit hot over there. It was mud crab. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. yeah. So do you use your hands when you eat chili crab? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, you have to. Hand, hands with the crab. You know, spoon with the the chili sauce and whatever. You got to get your hands in there. You got to get when you're cracking your crab or a lobster, you're using your hands. That's how I know someone who really knows chili crab because I'm a chili crab fan. And if you're doing it, you got to go in and dirty. Oh, and, and what do you like to drink with it? Uh, I really like the um, tiger beer over in Singapore. <laughs> Which is not quite the same as the one we drink here. Try Tiger. No, here. it's not. Yeah, yeah no, it's I, bad. Since I came back, I thought, bloody hell. I didn't realise it was that bad, but I know it's different. Yeah, no, it is different. I'm the same. I drink a lot of Tiger. And, uh, yeah, the stuff they serve here is poof. Okay, now, have you had word on the Hall of Fame discussions and your nomination? Uh, I wasn't nominated. You haven't heard about that? You, your name was put forward? No, my name wasn't put forward. It was. Uh, it wasn't discussed anyway. I was in the Hall of Fame discussions as representative of the club Ooh. and discussed it all. My name wasn't put forward. Are you sure about that? Well, as sure as I can be, who put it forward? Well, I can't nominate names because, like you, I have to keep my sources you know, quiet because otherwise well, I, I, mean, I wouldn't have a show. Like it's a public nomination. You know, yeah, no, no, but when they originally threw names around, your name was thrown up. And you know how they work the discussion groups. They throw shits around. Well, I was in the discussion group and... Uh, and you, would you not consider yourself... Well, look, you're a self-opposed all... You know, you've, you've nominated yourself all SFA when you're admin. So would you not consider <laughs> yourself worthy of Hall of Fame? Uh, look, eventually I've probably probably will be in there. Ah, oh, listen I to you. Why I wouldn't, I mean... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. For Christ's sake. <laughs> Fuck, who else is this Hall of Fame but you? Come on. Don't pull away from it. Uh, look, eventually I, I probably will be, but when it, when it comes, it comes. I'm not pushing for it. So when it comes, it happens. All right, well... I'll um, just... And uh, yeah. are you aware of the uh, new setup with Hall of Fame voting? Well, it's not um, going to be a public nomination process anymore. It's going to be taken to a private sub-board for committee. And who, so just purely committee members? Purely Hall of Fame members. And committee's going to be excluded. Public's going to be excluded. Yeah, all right. I'm not anti that. I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm here. not anti it either. I actually, hmm. I, I actually supported that. Hmm. Um, well, the trouble is you get too many people. Hmm. So anyway, so with your Hall of Fame discussion, which you obviously don't know much about, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bit of an insider on it. The argument was that your nomination was questionable due to some of your admin decisions. So well, what admin decisions do you think are being alluded to? I wouldn't know. I haven't seen that discussion. And as I say, I was in the Hall of Fame um, selection committee and I have been for the last four seasons. So well, you know the people that are... In, well, right, well, no, 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 no. That's not how I work. Um, you talk to the filth wizard, everyone. I Purely on facts here. So you know the people in the Hall of Fame discussion then. Who on there then, think about it, who on there would question your selection? And you know there'd be some people on there that would question it. Yeah. Yeah, yes. No, 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 now you're no. getting it. So, <laughs> what do you reckon the, the problem was? Well, uh, the problem was I wasn't nominated. Whoa. And, yeah, and, you know, the, the committee is chaired by ND, who puts forth all the names and the resumes of the players who have been nominated, and I wasn't nominated. So that's the way it goes. 
All right, nice. I'll let you go with that, Ben. I'm not, I'm not pushing for it. I haven't. Ah, you know you deserve it. Discuss myself in there. You be wanted. Fuck. Who, who doesn't want well, Hoff? Come on. Well, it's a badge, isn't it? Wow, but it's still an accomplishment. We're all we're all professional players. Okay. It'll happen one day. It'll happen if, it happens, if it doesn't happen. It's. I'm not going to lose sleep over this fantasy. All right, well, let's one talk. Day. All right, let's talk about awards then. How do you explain making all SA, SFA when you were nowhere near it? In which season are we talking? Uh, what was the last one you made? Well, you're admin. Oh, okay, so that would have been 28. Sorry. Yeah, how do, you, how do you explain that? So the way the all SFA discussion goes is every member in committee, every member of committee, names 18 we discuss the team and then they come up with a final team so there's 12 final teams 13 including mine because i put up a a provisional one at the beginning and ask for yeah but what did you do though your yeah. dts were shit okay, I'm getting yeah it. Yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah there's what were your metrics that got you that selection because it certainly wasn't on field what was it it i was in eight of the named teams in committee Oh, now, they there suck was some, There was some discussion in there afterwards about that because one of those was named by Mobs, who was actually in committee as a moderator rather than as a as a club rep. Um, and one of them was named. I was named on a four man interchange bench, so apparently that doesn't count. <laughs> so, but in the end, they, you know, when I'd counted it up, when I'd gone through and counted it up, there was uh, eight teams that I was named on. So. That's the way it goes. It was in the majority of teams named at that time. Yes. <laughs> That's the only way it goes. <laughs> right. Okay. Tim Tams or mint slices? Oh, Tim Tams. Name five coffee, years. Coffee Tim Tams, too. Actually, I'm, I'm onto yeah. that, too. Yes. Yeah. You do know your Tim Tams. Now, name five of your favourite players, past or present. Oh, okay. They're all going to be swamp rats, I'm afraid. <laughs> doesn't matter. Who are the people that in your age you go, really good people, loved them? Yeah. Okay. Dingster. Um, Farkin. Um, <laughs> close contest, Cloud Kennedy Parker. All the same. And the Red Squirrel. He was pretty good too. He yep. was only there for about a month. Though. Only a month? Um, <laughs> do you know the Red Squirrel? No. <laughs> uh, Kennedy Parker before when when he first joined SFA was close contest, and he stayed as close contest for probably three seasons, maybe four seasons, and then between between seasons he changed his name to the Red Squirrel, and he copped heaps of shit for that. And um, before the the new season started, he changed his name to Cloud, uh, which oh. was, remained as Cloud until he. Um, mm left being admin and there's been Kennedy Parker ever since. So it's all of those as one. Um, Milky 95 is another one and Phil Wright. Oh, nice. I like the names. So as admin, what's been your greatest legacy? Oh, legacy. I, I don't know. I didn't go in there to leave a legacy. I went in there to do a job and, and just make sure that the league... Ah, don't, don't give me that. You, you were in there for I a number of seasons. There. You're out now. You're at the different end of the SFA. What do you look back on and go, well, I own that? That's something I did. <laughs> what was I'm, I proud, I'm proud, of proud of it. Of yeah. If you ask me what I was proudest of in, in my um, three seasons that I was admin, the, the thing that I was proudest of was actually when um, the AFL stopped for two months or three months or whatever it was last year and and chiefs sort of approached us through through nd um to to run a, a simulated afl comp we got that up and running in three days between us so that that was a pretty good achievement it had nothing to do with uh legacy in the sfa or or the sfa generally um but we worked damn hard on that for for two months and then you know the afl started up again and we had to just bring it to a sudden halt <laughs> we didn't even really get to, we, we got to a final in the end i think the gold coast suns won 
Um, <laughs> but uh, we had to cut the season short and, and we had to, you know, make uh, changes and, and uh, decisions on the run there. And we did, we did pretty well. I had to get simmers together. I had to get posters together. I had to get, uh, you know, teams from all the club boards together and reps from all the club boards to try and coordinate all of that. And, and we worked damn hard on getting that up and running. And, uh, and the other thing was, you know, continuing a discussion about, uh, about expansion and having the two expansion teams come to me, you know, with Milky and um, uh, Hado. Um, they, they put a lot of work in and it was really, I, I was more sad for them that it didn't get up because of the amount of work that they put into it. But do you think expansion is dead though or do you think it will come no, up in the next not. couple of it'll seasons? Come it'll come up again. I hear rumours of, uh, of another expansion team. I think, well, Broken was an April Fool's Day joke, but it, but if there's talk about it, you know, if there's smoke, there's fire. So here are some questions from the SFA public. Barry Brand wants to know, why is your head so small? Ah, well, you see, that this is an optical illusion. It's not that my head is small, it's that my shoulders are so big from carrying that freaking committee <laughs> for bloody seasons. <laughs> what <Before that. laughs> <laughs> I love a response which puts shit on the person that asked the question in the first place. That's well done. <laughs> Here we go. Mr. M wants to know, what's your definition of spam? When does it go elite posting into the spam lord category in your opinion? Okay. I... Uh... <laughs> The Swamp Rats, when, when I started, were known as the Spam Rats. And, and it was a little unfair in, in, in some respects, but it was also fair in other respects. Uh, there was a lot of posting for the sake of posting. Um, you know, the stuff of Gift Friday, for example, you just go in and post random gifts with no context. That's spam. If you... <laughs> If, if you're not interacting with the other club, with your own players or with, you know, members of the SFA um, and you're just mass posting time and time again, talking to yourself, that is spam. Um, I don't think there's much of that happening nowadays. Uh, the Dragons do a little bit of it or used to do a little bit of it with their, um, you know, Rebecca Black and... and and uh, their video Fridays that they had. Well, dragons are spammers, you know all, that. Well, everyone has been a spammer at some stage. Cloud was a spammer when he started. Phil Rich wants to know, when did your relationship with the Wanders start to turn sour? Uh, probably in the second season there. So it would have been 29, start of S29. Um, I think they they put me in a back pocket um, and then wondered why I didn't post. I said, well, you know, I'm posting like a back pocket. You want me to be a back pocket? I'll post like a back pocket. Who was the captain then? Who was the captain? I really have no idea. I'm trying to think. Clark M was, was the um, committee member. God, his name keeps coming up, doesn't it? DJW is also in the LG. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, you know, Ding may have been captain. I don't know. I will just blame Clark M. I, I'd like to blame Ding. <laughs> oh, Ding. He's, everyone loves Ding. So. No, look, I, I love Ding. He's, he's one of the few SFA members that I've actually met um, personally. Oh, is he beautiful he's in real life? He's a beautiful person, yeah. Yeah. All right. But he's a freak. Yeah, that's fine. Jack Barrow <laughs> wants to know. Or do you consider yourself an alpha? No. No. Well, it's easy done then. Headless wants to know why you ignored the committee regarding all sweet FFA selection. Well, I didn't ignore the committee. I think I've explained this. I, I went with a consensus team, uh, or what I had down as the consensus team at all times. And, you know, in, in some... Tight cases like there's two players that have six nominations each. That's where it does come to the admin to make a selection. So there is only one or two um, selections each season, which are 
uh, are arguable. I do like the way your voice your voice goes monotone when you yes, yeah, so I know what we're doing and we're doing this and because we're doing that. But yeah, that's such an admin thing. You just went into monotone then. All right, just tell Headless to fuck off. He's not going to get an all SFA bench election. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> so we wait under my adminship anyway. Pam Banger's ass. Would you rather fight one Tiger Turbulence sized Pugsley? Or ten Pugsley sized tiger turbulence. Oh no, I'll take on ten of them. Yeah, I would too, because you could just start elbowing and kneeing them, kicking them. You get rid of the little pricks. Yeah, yeah. Now Ned Flanders asks, or he stated actually, <laughs> giving his successful job destroying the Wanders, he wants to know: Do you take requests because the Furies have a list of places we'd like him to join up with? Okay, well, that's a statement. <laughs> um, well, it's a moot point because I'm not joining any other clubs. I'm staying with the Swamp Rats now. Oh, I think he's hoping to get you in the Furies. He wants to get rid of a few of us. Anyway, Anonymous wants to know, did you cheat at all to get multiple rats, mob, medalists and a flag? It's impossible. You can't do it. Oh, I don't know that's the answer. Did you cheat? Did you have some bearing in it? Did you influence it? It's, it's not possible. The, the mob's medal votes are spat out by the sin. Right, now, it's time for Fact or Crap, the intellectual game show that allows SFA players to show how thick they are. And have you heard of this show? Uh, no, I can't say I've heard of it at all. All right, well, I do this all the time. So what happens is I'm going to ask you, 10 questions, and all that happens is I ask you a question. You just have to decide, is it fact or is it crap? End of story. That's it. Fact or crap. Now, when I started this show, Uncle Horry, you know, Grand Uncle Horry? Yes, bloodied 52, I remember him. Yes, well, he was so intellectual, I started this game show to see how smart he was, and he got a stupid score of 3 out of 10, proving he's not as smart as he fucking pretends. And... <laughs> Uh, I hope there's up. a prize at the end of this. Well, there is. <laughs> and following, Basti, Sturge and Clark M all got threes. So they are the thick fuckers, right? Now, this season, so we'll go to this season, Santos has been on the show. Do you, do you think he's smart or not? Uh, Santos got permaban. Does that make him smart? No, well, I'm saying no. Well, intellectually, he got five out of ten. Can you beat that? Well, I... Uh... You'd want to, wouldn't you? Yes, I can beat that. Yes, I will. Right. And Barry Brand's the only other contestant. He got an eight, which is okay. actually very respectable. So he's gone up. But the thing you don't want to do is get a three because then you're just a dumb fucker. But you want to beat Santos, surely. So, ready. I give you a statement and you quickly tell me if it's fact or crap. No looking up on the internet. No fucking around. You ready? Okay. Yep, go. The superstitious believe it is bad luck to use black-headed pins when fitting a dress. Actually, it's a fact. I'm telling you, that's not a good start. <laughs> Number two, but you were quick, which I'll give you that one. The celebration of St. Valentine's Day was once abolished in Britain. Fact. It was fact. And did you know yeah. that? Yeah, I did. I'd heard that, yep. Good. Neoplasticism was a movement in the toy industry in the 1950s that saw the development of lifelike figurines and dolls. Fact. Yeah, it's crap, actually. It does sound like a fact. Okay. That's, <laughs> I had no idea of that one. Now, you should know this one, because this is particularly after one of our posters in the SFA. Sloths. Do you know any sloths in the uh, SFA? Yeah, bros. Yep. So here we go. And he'll, he'll be hanging on this question to see whether you actually get him. Sloths. Fur grows backwards. Oh, uh, crap. Actually, it's a fact. Okay. <laughs> wow. Santos are sitting now doing fist pumps in the air going, fuck me, I'm, I'm going to be smarter than that. Uh, hey, this one, everyone knows this one. This is basic history. You know, you like history? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, you get this one then. Christopher oh, Columbus no. sailed on the ship Santa Cruz. Hmm. Don't know that one. I'm going to go with fact though. It was crap. Then <laughs> you don't know it. You're correct. Uh, right, oh, this one you'll know. 
It's about use. Ant eaters have small teeth. Crap, they don't have any teeth. Exactly right. I knew you'd get this one. So be <laughs> thankful. We put one in for you. Here we go. So you got two. At the moment, you have got the lowest score of anyone in the SFA over three. Yeah, but how, many, how many we got to go? What, we got four to go? Yeah, right. you got four to go. But four. telling you from your history, let's see, you go. Here we go. Harry Houdini, you know that guy is? A uh, magician, I think. Yeah, the escape artist. Yeah. Yeah. Harry Houdini learned to drive a car in Australia. Oh, uh, crap. Actually, it's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh, you know this one. You know much about insects? Uh, I know that flies bug me and I don't know what the fuck their purpose is. All right. Well, you've got some flies, you'll know this. Insect blood is mostly light green. Uh, fact. How do you know that? Because I've squashed plenty of fucking flies. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So now you're on three, which means you're equal lowest score of anyone. But oh. you need... You need out of the next two to get them right to match Santos, not beat him. You can't beat Santos, but to match him. So, so is one of them a fact and one of them a crap? Uh, I can't. A fact, a crap. You should know this. This is, a, this is an easy question. Ready? The rash of scarlet fever is actually yellow. Uh, crap. It is crap. Yeah. There you go. Now, this one to match Santos. And this is an easy one. We all know this one. In England, in the 1800s, hot drinks were thought to lead the drinker to suicide. Fact. It is. So, yeah, we all know that. So you got five out of ten. Okay, well, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I, I, I had to guess. Everyone I guess got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. I've only got one question to ask you now. Yeah. Who do you want in the hot seat next? Let's go with Dingster. Dingster. All right. You heard it, Dingster. You called out, Ding. Have you got the kahunis to sit in the hot seat next? This is Tiger Turbulence making it hotter in the SFA.